Good day students. Last time we finished the content of what we are supposed to do. And today we want to start with solid figures and their properties. Introduction to solid figure. Solid figures are often called three-dimensional shapes or 3D shapes for short. Definition. A solid figure is simply anything that occupies space and also has a definite shape. There are two different ways you can view solid shapes. Regular and irregular shapes. Examples of regular shapes are hooks, boxes, thin of milk, sugar cube, keyboard, etc. Then, and then examples of irregular shapes are stone, shell of snail, cassava, yam tuba. Lupids are gases only uh, liquid or gases only take place, I mean only take the shape of their continents. So they do not have definite shape. Therefore, liquid and gases are not regarded as solid. I will show an illustration to show this. For example, I have water here. If I open this water and pour the content of the water in this container, you can see that it has taken the shape of the container. And I can equally pour this water into this container. And you can see that it is also taking the shape of this container. That shows that liquids do not have definite shapes. Solid figures have the following faces, edges, and vertices. All solid shapes have faces called, I mean have surfaces called faces. Most of them have edges that join the faces together. Example of a solid that has the faces, the edges, and the vertices is a keyboard. So let's look at the faces using the keyboard. I have drawn it here, but I can equally use this to show. This shape of what I have drawn here is exactly this way. So what is here, the, this surface here and this surface here are regarded as surfaces. And then the vertex, look at the vertex, they are angles, they are the angles that form part of the shape. And if you look at the edges, look at the edges carefully, you will see it's a line, it's a line. So these lines are the ones that are referred to the edges. Most often we use letters of alphabet to name the vertices edges and faces of a solid. Let us define the following terms. Face. A face is the surface of a solid which is enclosed by edges. A face may be flat or curved. The total outer view of a solid is called its surface. Now let's look at it. If you have this, this is a face. This side is also a face. This is a face. 
this is a fence. By the definition, you should be able to know what a fence is. Edge. An edge of a solid is a line where two faces meet. An edge may be spread or curved. Let's look at this again. This is one face, this is another face. So you look at this side is the edge. This is a face, this is a face, this is an edge. This is a face, this is a face, this is an edge. Vertex. A vertex of a solid is a point or a corner where three or more edge, edges meet. Therefore, if you look at this, look at this, this is a vertex. One line here, one line here, and one line here. This makes it a vertex. If you look at this side again, this is one line, one line, and one line. So this is a vertex. We can use it just like we have said that we use, most often we use letters. I have actually drawn a skeletal view of a cubot to show that, to show the illustration of the alphabet being used on the solid figure. Now this is just an introduction. By the time we come again next time, I will introduce you to the properties of solids. So we take this question because of what we have done today. Questions. Say whether the following statements are true or false. A. A leaf is a solid figure. A leaf is a solid figure. B. Stones are irregular shapes. C. A television is a 3D object. D. The earth is not a solid sphere. Answer these questions through and send your answer the questions and send your result through this number. Thank you and God bless.